All right, y'all, I am going to do some thrifting in Huntsville, Alabama. I just got here and it is 2.46, so I don't have a lot of time, but I'm gonna hit up this St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. This is a Catholic thrift store. Uh, pretty good selection of merchandise. Haven't been in here in a couple months, so I'm hoping that they have replenished their stock. So we shall see. You guys. Money. Money. Everywhere. Money. Money. I guess I gotta get to scanning. So I'm having really good luck. Um, just scanned this one in. It's scanned in at $209. It's got a 4 million rank, but I think even... Pricing it around 100, it should move fast. Just a few more. One thing I will look for that I used to ignore is these kind of books, like no real cover or anything, because this is a first edition uh, James Clavel, I believe. Um, not a lot of money, but the lowest price is $7 plus shipping, so I'll probably price it around $19.99. I'm paying a dollar for it. So it's sort of those bread and butter items. And any kind of novel that has several different books inside one book tends to do pretty well, so I always pick those up. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good so far. I've only been scanning for uh, maybe 15 minutes now. I already made <laughs> at least $100. So I found some shoes. Big shout out to Greg from Resellers United Facebook group. Um, I never really paid attention to shoes. I've sold shoes in the past, but uh, his shoe posts on Facebook have uh, reignited the greed for shoes. Um, these are Allen Edmonds. Uh, both of these are these are both uh, same size, same brand, and everything, kind of same style. Um, scanning in around or on eBay, the solds are definitely past the fifty dollar range. So, and they're three bucks in here. So, just another one of those great items that you can pick up. And if you pay attention, you can find something in every category that's profitable. So oh, I'm really happy that I found these. I've already this has already turned into probably two or three hundred dollars profit off of ten, maybe ten. So love thrifting, love what I do. Some days it's good. Some days you you come in and you find everything. So I'm gonna keep searching. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to see this, but I walked back here. Holy crap. I guess this is all the stuff that they haven't put in the floor yet. And it's interesting because they have all these boxes stacked with like sized shirts. I wonder if they're donating them or they're waiting to put them out on the floor. Interesting. All right guys, I'm done in there. I wound up spending $15 and I got five books, a desk organizer, um, two pairs of shoes, and a giant loaf of bread. They had a giant buggy full of them. Went out of date today, I think, so I'll probably just give it to the dogs. I just don't like to waste food because I know they're gonna throw it away. Um, but yeah, that was a super successful, profitable trip. Spent $15, hope to clear about $40 to $60 each on the shoes and um, the books, we'll see. Most of the books, I'm doing $15 minimum for books that I want to sell now, so um, they're all selling for that. And then I had that one outlier, which scanned in at $200 was the cheapest. I had a pretty high sales rank, so I think if I could just lower the price on it a little bit, it would sell. Um, but other than that, a couple of things I thought of while I was in the store is um, just some tips for you. So like personal space in the thrift store oh my gosh i don't understand why people get up on you so much but this is kind of um corny but like whenever someone does that i just start coughing like so much and you know you're wired to get away from people that you think are sick so like if someone's all up in my personal space i usually just start coughing and they tend to go away um and another thing about the books is um don't sit there and scan every book you're gonna waste your time like there's a lot of books i probably left behind but i mean i got what i got today and i'll come back and get more um but a lot of the little small paperback books you, you know they're just not worth it and you'll learn as you go with scanning like some of the books i know are worthless now and i just don't even look at them and pretty much anything popular is not going to sell for very much it'll probably you know selling for ten dollars on amazon it's really not even hardly worth your time so um 
yeah, those are just a few things that I thought of while I was uh, pondering in the thrift store. Um, if I think of any more tips, I will give them to you guys. I know that, like, watching the thrifting videos helps me, but it also helps to, like, see, um, how other people act in the store. And, like, I don't know, being a reseller, like, you really don't want to offend anyone. And that's why I'm not super loud whenever I'm making these videos in the stores. Because, like, I'm not trying to advertise that I'm here to make money off of them. I mean, I never lie. And if people ask me what I'm doing, I usually tell them. But at the same time, you don't want to rub it in their face, so... Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm pretty tired and kind of hungry, so I think I'm just going to go home and be happy with what I've got and check on the doggos and call it a day. Today is, what's today? Saturday. So plans for the rest of the day include getting the shipment together that I've been working on and probably going to make some merch shirts. I sold 22 shirts yesterday which was pretty high for me i don't usually sell that many in a day but one of my shirts sold 16 times so that was cool i don't know what's going on with that one but i'm pretty happy about it but yeah thanks for watching the video guys sorry i never put my uh, mug in in the videos anymore i'm tired of looking at myself um but yeah i'm just gonna get this stuff sent out as soon as possible the more you send in the more money you can make so thanks for watching